on everybody it's portal back with another madden 22 video here guys and today i'm gonna be ranking each and every madden 22 starting quarterback based on overall and guys these are gonna be pretty accurate so for the most part i'll probably be within the ballpark of your favorite quarterbacks ranking or rating i should say so if you guys have been wondering where your favorite quarterback or your home team quarterback is going to be ranked in terms of overall this is probably the list for you guys now it starts from trash this means the players in like the 60s overall they're not even going to be a starting player uh 70 means that you know 70 plus 70 to 80 pretty much 80 to 85 is going to be this range 85 to 90 90 to 95 95 to 99 well 95 to 98 actually because there is a 99 category so we're gonna be going through them and ranking through these quarterbacks now guys as you guys typically do know with these rank uh ratings again these are all opinion based i'm sorry if i put your hometown quarterback in a bad situation but i probably will be pretty close on most of these rankings for the most part because I played, I played long enough to know kind of how they rank these guys. But let's get into this, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And comment down below and let me know how you guys have been doing. Let me know who's your hometown QB. Where do you guys see him here? Where And where do you think your hometown QB is going to be rated? So let's say it's Mac Jones. Comment down below, Mac Jones. And let me know what you think his overall will be. Let's start from the bottom. We got Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick, in my opinion, will probably fall right in the 70 range. I think it'll be like a 73 overall um starting quarterback that's more of like a replacement you know uh stop gap next we got kirk cousins kirk cousins another guy that i think they may actually give him a low 80 but i think it'll be more i think it'll be either like a 79 low 80 i'll give him a low 80 for now because i think he'll probably like an 80 81 but i know he's not he's not really good in terms of the game but he'll have a decent overall ryan Tannehill, i think falls into for the titans the 85 range i think he will take a little bit of an overall increase because of his uh past few uh, you know years of being he's done pretty well for the titans deshaun watson now pending legal issues i think deshaun watson still ends up in the 90 the low 90 overall range uh probably could be a little bit higher but i don't even know if we'll be in the game come you know same time of early man 22 big ben roethlisberger i think falls around 87 i'm gonna rank him in order so i think that ben roethlisberger will probably be a similar if not a lower overall than ryan Tannehill, probably like 86 87 russell wilson i think russell wilson falls in that 95 plus they usually give him like a 94 95 mm. uh, yeah i'll leave him in the 95 spot Jameis winston i think falls in the fitzpatrick slightly above fitzpatrick ends up with a 70 plus here probably ends up around a 76 overall not a horrible quarterback but he's you know he's on the bench for a while i doubt he gets a high you know high, high overall lamar jackson ends up right here slightly above deshaun watson he ends up as a lower 90 but, you know, super young. So, if you play franchise, eventually gets 99 pretty easily. Matthew Stafford. I think he actually falls, again, in this Big Ben Roethlisberger, Ryan Tannehill spot. Probably with an 85 flat on the Rams. Really depends on Madden there. Derek Carr, I think, falls in the low 80 range uh, with Kirk Cousins. Again, num Cam Newton. I think Cam Newton falls in the 70 plus range. I don't think they actually keep him in the 80s. I think he actually falls like a 79, 77 at least to start. Mac Jones. I think Mac Jones may start in the trash spot. I because not that he's trash, but I don't think he's a 70 overall. He may start like as a 68, 69. You know, he was one of the last taken of the first round quarterbacks. And if anything has taught us anything about that, like, you know, guys like Gardner Minshew and like the next round of quarterbacks, not next round, but those guys end up usually starting in the 60 range. He could be a very, very low 70, but I think he may start in the 60 range considering. Uh, but actually, no, he is the most NFL ready, apparently. So actually, no, low 70. We'll give him low 70 for the day one spot. Sam Darnold ends up in the 70 range as well. I think he ends up right above Jameis Winston probably. Uh, again, coming off the Jets, he was horrible with the Jets, so I can't imagine his overalls anywhere even remotely decent uh, for the most part. Aaron Rodgers ends up in that 95-plus spot coming off an NFL MVP. I don't think he gets a 99 spot, but I definitely think he's close, like a 98, maybe 97. Jordan Love. Jordan Love, I'd have to put him, I'd say Madden typically gives him a pretty good overall. I'd put him in a high 70 uh borderline low 80 spot it really after preseason if he has a good preseason he may end up at low 80 but for the time being time being low 70 jared golf ends up in the 70s as well he has not performed well as of late uh, i think he ends up with a high 70 low 80 max we have number two here for the i believe that's the jets i believe that's zach wilson if i'm not mistaken zach wilson ends up in the i guess 70 range as well with mac jones right the bottom bottom tier of it trevor lawrence i actually think may have a day 180 overall um you know joe burrow and all these guys, and Chase Young, they all started right at the 80 spot. He actually may be a bottom tier 80, like 80 flat, maybe 79. Daniel Jones, I think, ends up in like a middle tier, right above Sam Darnold, right below Jordan Love, right above, right below Jordan Love kind of spot, uh, considering he was probably going to be, a, in the beta, he was a 73. 
probably ends up actually like a 76, 75. We have Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan ends up in that, eight, I believe, a low 80 spot. Actually, 85 spot right here with Matt Stafford and them. Jalen Hurts, I think, ends up around probably middle tier 70. Again, these guys are going to be like, in terms of franchise, some of them are usable. But not all of them are going to be great, like reg season play, you know, reg reg team players, like exhibition and ultimate team day one. Two attack of Iloa again ends up in the 70 spot. Um, I think he could have borderline pushed for 80, but again, he didn't do too much last year. I think he's still a high 70 with potential. We have Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott's gonna be a weird one. I think he ends up in the 85 spot just because he missed the whole year. Then we have Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers is gonna be a low 80 right around the Derek Carr, Kirk Cousins. I'll probably put him above all of them. Patrick Mahomes, that's an obvious one. That's got to be 99. I mean, he's on the cover. Um, again, I don't know how many people will be at 99 in this spot. I think maybe just one. Justin Herbert, I actually think pushes for 80 plus status here. I think he pushed for 85 status, but I think they'll probably put him around an 82, 83 coming off that rookie of the year. Kyler Murray probably only ends up again as an 85 plus. Now, I think that Kyler Murray will be on the higher end of it, like an 87, 88. I think realistically he should be in the lower 90s, but if I know better, Madden's not going to give Kyler Murray a 90 just yet. If he has another like MVP type season this year or like one of those, he'll probably end up pushing for mid-90 status, may even contest for a Madden cover at some point in his career. But we'll leave him there. Tom Brady, the GOAT, 95 plus. I think he ends up being like a 95 overall flat. I think he ends up being around Russell Wilson, slightly below Aaron Rodgers and definitely below Mahomes. Baker Mayfield, I think actually pushes for an 85 plus spot here. I think he actually had a pretty good season. Um, played pretty well, led him to the playoffs. I think he actually finally pushes for, you know, I think he starts regular... Ross is off like an 82. So this isn't really a stretch here. Drew Locke in the 70s, in my opinion. There's no way he starts off Madden day one above a 70. There's just no way. Teddy Bridgewater as well. Probably right next to him. They'll probably be similar overall, like mid-tier, mid-high 70s, maybe mid-low 70s, depending. Josh Allen. Now that's an interesting one. Um, Josh Allen actually started off like an 87 this uh after regular season roster updates i think he actually pushes for that 90 plus category here i think he ends up at a 90 flat maybe an 89 but closer off to the 90 if anything then we have joe burrow i think joe burrow is a bottom and 80 probably near the top with uh justin herbert right probably below herbert he did get hurt herbert showed more in his first year because of course burrow was hurt justin fields i think justin fields actually ends up being a pretty low 70 i don't know who will actually fall in the trash spot here because no one here is going to be generically trash. In Madden, if you're tr if, to be a quarterback in the trash spot, like a 60 overall, you either have to be you have to be one of like two things. You either have to a be a horrific like like a, a, a late round quarterback, like a, a late round draft player, is really the only way you end up being in that spot, or you have to be like a player that really doesn't play. Typically, even back with quarterbacks like you know the Fitzpatrick's and the Andy Dalton's and those guys of the world, even they end up being in the low 70 tier. Only way I see a 60 is going to be, like I said, Mac Jones. But he's NFL ready in that sense. Like, he's going to come with some better attributes day one, even if he's not the best long-term prospect in terms of the other guys. But Justin Fields as well. I think, I, like, at the worst, these guys maybe end up being a 69, but I, I doubt it. I don't know if anyone here really falls into that list. Um, let's see. We have Andy Dalton again, probably in the low tier of the 70s. Jimmy Garoppolo probably takes a low, low, low 80, like 80 flat right here in front of Trevor Lawrence. And then Trey Lance. Now, Trey Lance will be the only guy, guys, I think that could actually be in the trash category. Now, it's not because he's a bad quarterback. He's the only quarterback of the bunch that everyone universally agrees he needs to sit a year. He's too young, not enough reps, right? And like I said, that's the only way typically. There's only, like I said, okay, three ways you end up being in the spot. If you're a quarter, even if you're drafted in the first round, like a quarterback, but you're a project. Like you're not considered a day one quarterback, you're not considered a first year quarterback. Now, guys like Justin Fields, Mac Jones are pretty much going to be like day one ready for the most part in terms of playing. So is Zach Wilson. So is Trevor Lawrence. Um, Trey Lance might be the only one who doesn't play this year or at least will play towards the end. But again, they, they usually knock your stats down a little bit for that. But yeah, guys, this is the overall rankings for my Madden 22 quarterback ranking. Only one in the 99, one in the trash. A lot of 70s are going to be like those quarterbacks that no one really cares for. Like the ones that like... They're not no one cares for the ones that like you start day one on they're either going to be stop gaps a mix of old veterans and then a mix of young young guys that are great now if this is franchise they'll be pretty good in terms of reg uh reg games not going to play as well and then of course guys a few guys that i could see moving right if i see anyone moving up to a tier i think it would be josh uh not josh allen sorry josh allen gets to the 90 right now i think kyler murray could take the next leap to the 90s this year so could dak and so could let's see let's see let's see justin herbert i think justin herbert could uh, jump a tier trevor lawrence could jump a tier burrow could jump a tier and i think kyler and dak could jump a tier as well everyone else i feel like they're kind of solidified in their spots for the most part but that's about it hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell 
Give this video a big thumbs up as always. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.